Hey, this is Alan here from Look for Warriors. How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, I am in the Glen of the Downs. And I don't know if you ever if you ever heard of the Glen of the Downs. It's in Wicklow. And I'm walking now through the most magical place. It's if you just look around, it's just every colour of green and brown and yellow and there's you can probably hear the noise there's a there is a river running beside me and at this time of the year it's getting down it's cold but it's magical completely and I'm right now I'm coming to a place where three roads meet trivium (laughs) three roads meet and If you just stop here by the tree and, and look down, it's wow, it's just spectacular. It's like a um, it's like a picture. It's like the most beautiful painting you can imagine. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of it right now. I think I can take a picture while I'm recording. And But this is not why I'm here to talk anyway. I'm here to talk about my agile experience today. I'm going to take a picture. This may go on my wall. Now, it's done. Now, the reason I'm here and talking is because I want to talk about my Agile experience. Yes, I don't know if, you, if you're following these podcasts, this is the first one that you've listened to, but either way, yesterday I mentioned that I was using the SANA. And I was going to move everything from a sauna to cello. Just to see what the difference is. And all systems are great. Um, The system is only there to help you. In fact, I'm going to walk the opposite direction. Because I can walk away from the road. quite close to the road. It's a road that goes right through. The M11 goes right through the uh, Glen of the Downs. But I'm here to get into nature. So I'm going to walk the opposite road. Which will take me a... We're going up the hill, but it'll take me away from the road. Now, Asana and Trello, both great systems. Um, but the system is only there to make what you're doing better. The system, kind of the best system is, is one that feels like there's no system there at all. So, if you don't even notice that you're using the system, or it doesn't take time use the system now you're going to have your retrospectives and stuff like that and think about what you're doing so it's obviously it's going to take some time it's always going to take some time but the best system is the system takes up the least amount of time and you have the most amount of time to focus on the work that you want to do so i moved everything today from the sand to trello now i've used trello before but I guess I've used it now in this new trial for a couple of hours. And I definitely do think it's better. It's just better and easier to use. And I've noticed that there is a lot of automations you can use on Trello as well. I I don't know what it's called. Let's say it's called a Trello bot. Um, I don't know the actual term of it. For now, we'll just say Trello bot. And what it does is you can set up your systems and it'll just run them for you. So you can put in buttons, let's say, let's say move everything. Like, for example, your retrospectives that you do every week. You may do a retrospective and in that retrospective you might select a bunch of tasks that are going to be done next week. You can set up a button that takes all those tasks and puts it onto a new board for you. creates a new board with the date or whatever and all your tasks are set up ready to go. That kind of thing. Now, I'm not going to... All I'm focused on, I've got a lot to do now. A lot to do in work and a lot to do personally for myself. So, I'm not going to worry too much about the automations. When I have more time, I'll go through and learn the automations and how they work and how they can work into my specific workflow. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use the tool because 
I really want to focus on what I'm doing rather than the tool itself. And I just found that moving everything over, the, the real benefit for me is that I'm a high quick start. I think I mentioned that before. And one thing that will happen with high quick starts is focus is definitely an issue. So I'll start something. I'll do a CFT. Now, CFT for me is 50 minutes. CFT just stands for critical focus time. It's a, scientifically, it's worked out that the amount of time that someone can focus without being distracted. And for me, it's probably five minutes. <laughs> for most people, it's probably five minutes. But you'll find that if I put a timer on for 50 minutes and I know I've got to do this task and I've got 50 minutes to do it because there's not also an issue that work expands to fill the time you've given it. So if you've given eight hours to a task, you'll find that task probably will take you eight hours. But if you give it 50 minutes or 30 minutes, you're going to get that task done or a big part of it done, like the, the core of it done within that 50 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever it happens to be. So I do 50 minute CFTs. Again, because that was what was um, recommended by Ed Dale. Now, Ed Dale recommends a book called Personal Kanban, which I'm going to guess. There's also a training course. The training course, I think, was just, it was three or four hundred euro, or so, or three or four, three or four hundred dollars, which I don't want to spend right now on a course. Although I will seriously consider it because just getting your Kanban and your stuff working is just a really really important thing so I think it would be probably worth the money but I'm uh, I'm not going to get it just right now because I've got, I, the other thing is when you buy these courses you need to um, have the time to focus on them as well there's no point in buying a course then not having the time to do it so I might have time to do it in a few weeks maybe over Christmas so I might do it then so, personal Kanban. And, um, but I am going to buy that book. The other issue is I just don't have time to read, read, even read the book. I'll see if I can get it on iBooks or, or something like that. I think you can get it on, um, on uh, Prime. Is Prime the uh, Amazon app where you can read books? Yeah, I don't know what it is. But you can get it from Amazon, whatever Amazon's iBooks is. So I might just do that and read it on the iPad. The other advantage, I like reading the iPad actually because you can mark things up and save it and it's actually a lot better. I think you can do the same with iBooks. Like, but on the iPad you can use the pen to mark things and remember things and make notes. Which I think specifically for this book it's going to be really important the notes I make on it. So, I've walked away through the woods now. It's only been eight minutes. I'm going to turn around and go back down. But, let's get back to what we're talking about. Yeah, Trello been using Trello and to my mind it's easier funner to use and fun is a relative term it's not like woo bells and whistles it's fun as far as a project management system, system can be fun um, and it's just nicer to use in a way that a Mac is nicer to use than a PC now you might disagree with that but it's looking into that argument right now but um, let's just say that if you agree now that a Mac is nice to use in a PC, you may find that Trello is nice to use in a similar way than Asana and most of the other applications. And I'm just talking about for personal. I need a personal board that I do every week with retrospectives every week. I need that. So, that is important. Now, and I think also Trello, I can set up different boards for different places. Like I can set up a personal board, a family board, a uh, learning board and a work board possibly, I don't know but I'm going to look into that because that would be useful um, so that's Asana and Trello like they're, very, very, they're very similar applications but Asana is a proper project management system whereas Trello isn't Trello's just boards but they've done boards the, most, the, the best way you could possibly do a board so if I'm, they're all good. Like it doesn't matter what you use, really. It doesn't matter. Just use. It's better to use something than nothing. And a lot of people find that having an actual physical board is the best thing. A physical board in front of them all the time is the best thing. But it doesn't work so well for me because I'm well used to having the computers and iPads and stuff around me. But also, I never know where I'm going to be. Like I can be on a bus and I need to do. I need to get something next thing done. 
or I can be in a coffee shop and need to get next thing done. So I, if I have a board on the on my wall, I guess I can take a picture of it, but it's just not as useful as having something on my phone. Like Trello works amazingly well on the phone. It's really you would not know you're using the phone, and it also works amazingly well on the iPad and on the computer. So I just think that it's a um, all the technology is kind of they're kind of building now. I'm looking at the new iPad Pros coming out, and they're seriously expensive, like two or three grand. I suppose you can get it for cheaper, but you can spend like three, four grand on an iPad Pro, and um, it's not quite there yet. It's not quite a computer yet, but at the same time, I have like a, a normal 400 euro cheap iPad. And I find I could do like at least 50% of my work on it, like my personal work. You know, looking after boards, looking after doing retrospectives and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes a computer is better, you've got more accuracy with a computer. But I can do a lot, I, can actually, I actually can do a lot on the iPad. So and maybe the Surface is better, I've never used the Surface, I don't know. But I do think that they, they're trying to build the iPad into a computer. It's faster than most computers now. They're trying to build it into a computer. But I just don't think they're there yet. The, the technology is coalescing to a point where it could be used like that but I just don't think it's there yet so that's the new, I think the new iPad Pro is like an, an overpriced machine because it's not actually a computer because of the limitations of iOS and maybe the Surface is and I don't know about that but I just like the iPad just I prefer to use it so if I was going to spend any significant amount of money it'd be on an iPad so Anyway, this has been Alan here from Looking for Wires. I just want to go through the differences, my experience of the difference today between Asana and Trello. And I do think that, where it, as a high quick start, where it really helps me is if I'm in my 50 minute CFT, sorry, I went on a tangent. This is what I was supposed to be talking about. If I was doing my 50 minute CFT and 20 minutes have gone by and I get distracted by something, I, you know, I'm in the kitchen, one of my kids come down to chat to me or I'm making a cup of tea or I just see something that. <laughs> that distracts my attention as soon as I realise that has happened I can look at my board and go yes that's what I'm doing and go straight back to what I was doing and that's the important thing if you want to get work done in, in a specific amount of time you need to, everyone's going to get distracted sometimes maybe some people have like really high concentration levels but I think people's concentration levels today with games and YouTube and everything is, is, is basically nothing it's 5 minutes and mine can be 5 or 10 minutes without this ability to go straight back into the work I was doing because you want to get into a flow state that's the whole point of it that you get into a flow state and you do your best work so I can do that I can get into a much better flow state by having this board I can go back yes that's what I was doing and what was I doing today um, oh yeah I was working on the funnel I was setting up a funnel and I did get distracted you know um, my kids are upstairs they're playing What's that game? Fortnite. They're playing Fortnite. And sometimes it makes them quite upset if they get shot or something. So, they're quite upset, so I need to deal with that. I need to go up and see where they are. And uh, ask them what, what screaming is about. And But I can get straight back down. I can pause my timer, go up, have a chat with them, come back down, uh, take a look at my board. That's what I'm doing. Straight back into it. Otherwise, I'll be distracted and do a million other things. And the thing I was supposed to be doing just never get done. And that is where that is where the board really, really, really helps me. Just to have like a, a cello board or an agile board or something like that that I can use. And so, just wanted to share that experience and you know where that benefit is. And it's been Alan here from Looking for Warriors. Just wanted to just bring it quickly through that. So, and that's the benefits of having an agile board and why Trello is probably the best option. But use it. I don't care what you use. Just use anything. I just want to give you my experience of I just feel that Trello for me was definitely the best option.